Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to talk about sentiment analysis in A. A lot of unstructured data is generated on social media platforms in the form of feelings, judgments, opinions, and attitudes about the product or about the company. Now, the basic objective of the sentiment analysis, analysis is to understand the unstructured data because sentiments are the most essential characteristics to judge the human behavior of for a particular stimulus. In short, I want to say is that that all this unstructured data which is generated by running the various algorithm, we want to see that is this text having a positive, negative or neutral sentiment. These days, a lot of attention has been drawn towards this particular type of analysis by corporates, government sector and industry for the betterment of the product or services. Let us see how we can carry out this particular thing in our packages which we require for carrying out this in R is let me change this to sentiment analysis and the packages are GM NLP stringer you'll have to download two uh, two libraries one is a positive word library and the negative word library these are the links from where you can very easily download this library now though let's understand what the whole concept is first of all I have downloaded the speeches of our Honorable Prime Minister, the independence speech of our Honorable Prime Minister, and I also downloaded the positive words and the negative words in the positive words, which are you can see very readily available from that website, and the list of negative words which are available on this website. Okay, once this is done, I'll go in R. And first of all, let me clean this. I'll activate the library EM, library NLP, C name, file path, C colon, speeches, C name. We are already aware about creating the corpus. In my previous video on text analysis, you are, I already talked about there are two types of corpus. Corpus is a is a place where we keep all the documents for the analysis. So we P corpus is a volatile corpus and P corpus is a permanent corpus. Normally we use V corpus. So docs, V corpus, directory source, C name. So all the documents are now here. Now again, the same concept of doing some operations on this document by using the TM library, that's a text mining library. So we want to remove punctuation mark, numbers, you want to convert this entire document to the lower case. We want to remove some words, stop words, which are there in English, which I have already discussed in my previous video of text analysis. Let us do one by one. So I am removing the punctuation mark. Remove the numbers. These numbers basically are those, uh, those numbers which are there in the document. They don't have any relevant when, when I'm doing a qualitative data analysis and therefore I want to remove the numbers also. I want to convert the entire text into the lower case so that the uniformity is maintained because R is very case sensitive. I'll remove some words which are uh, stop words which are there in English. So these are the stop words. By running this command, I'll be removing A, able, about because generating the frequency for this does not have any importance in quality today and therefore I want to remove it. Okay, let's come back here. Now, there are some specific words, a particular words, which a speaker may be repeating quite often. And therefore, I want to, I want to remove that also. So how, how, can, how I can do it? Remove words, see brothers and sisters. So removing that. I'll have to activate the library, snowball C, and then I'll have to, uh, run the command tm map basically library snowball c is not required here because it's a library which is related to the stamming of the documents which is not right now necessary here so docs tm map docs strip white spaces now when i'll remove this punctuations numbers stop words there will be a lot of white space which will be there in the document and i want to remove it so i'll be using strip white space run now I want to convert this whole document into the plain text and therefore I'll be running tm map docs plain text 
document. Now I'll load that positive words dictionary here and the command line is POS positive read lines C drive speeches positive words CSV. Then converting this positive words to the lowercase, I will convert all of them to the lowercase. And now I require the library stringer. So first of all, you can load the packages from here and then activate the stringer, library stringer. Now what this library can do? So stringer command consists of family of four functions. Character manipulation, white space tools, local sensitive operations, and pattern matching function. So, by running this string split, the whole documents get converted into string. So, let us run it. P string underscore split. US is a positive words. Pattern. Run. Then PP is unlist P. And PP. You can see all the positive words now have been identified by R. Now this positive words, which are standard positive words, which have been downloaded from the website, we want to match this with our document. And we'll be running the same set of command for our documents. So again, I'll go here, library stringer. Again, it is not necessary to read on again. So D is, is equal to string. STR underscore split talks pattern T TD unlist D TD. So these are the positive words which are there in our document. Now I'll say match P is equal to match PPD. And I'll get the list of all those words which are matching in my document with the standard positive words. So you will have to see here now. Now how to interpret this output? Let's see. Now here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The word which is at the place of 7 this word matches with the standard word that is there in our dictionary. That is a list of positive words. Okay. When I talk about this 12th word, it is matching with standard positive word that is at the place 16,664 place. Now, if I talk about 12, 13, 14, 15, the word which is at 15 place in our document. Let me write here. Yeah, here. The word, 15 number word, which is there in our document, matches with 3597 uh, uh, number word. That is a word which is at 3597. Now, in total, I want to say that how many words are matching so i'll say sum p is equal to sum exclamation is dot na match p so i'll get number that there are 287 which are matching basically this is a logical argument which which i'm inserting to tell me that how many words are matching similarly the same analysis i can carry out for the negative words so again the command will be nos number of negative words read read line run I will convert this to the lower case. Again, I will split it. The entire document is split it. I will unlist it. And again, I can get the list of entire negative words which are there. Now, this is from the standard list. Now, I want to match this with my document. So, what I'll do, I'll again run this. Now, these words which are negative, the standard negative words will be matched in our document. DD, you are already aware. The DD has been created on the basis of D, string, uh, string underscore split, docs, pattern. D, DD is equal to unlist DD. I'll run it again. Match and 
So again, I'll be able to say that the word which is at the position of 4, that is a negative word at position 4, matches with the standard negative word dictionary and, and the, at, it matches with the word which is at the place of 26,258. Now I want to count that how many negative words are there. I'll get 252 negative words are there. Then I'll take the summation of positive and negative words. Then I'll, con uh, so the summation is sum is equal to sum P plus sum N. How much percentage positive words are there is equal to sum P upon sum run. Negative words are there, positive, negative. So the speech is 53% positive. All these codes are available in my book, that is Data Analysis Using R, which is available on Amazon.in as well as Amazon.com. This book. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter for my future videos on data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. So this was all about sentiment analysis. Thank you.